hysteresis curve. For ferromagnetic material by removing external magnetic field H, the magnetic movement of some domains remains aligned in the applied field or in the applied direction of the previous magnetizing field which results into residual magnetism. The lack of retraceability as shown in the figure is called hysteresis and the curve is known as hysteresis low. Hysteresis is only shown by ferromagnetic substance. In ferromagnetic material, by removing external field, the magnetic movement of some domains remains aligned in the direction of previously applied magnetic field, which results in a residual magnetism. The lagging of magnetizing field, lagging of magnetize, intensity of magnetization I to the magnetizing field is known as hysteresis. This happens for only ferromagnetic material. For ferromagnetic materials, by removing external magnetic field, the magnetic movement of some domains remains aligned in the direction of previous applied magnetizing field, which results in residual magnetism. The lacking of intensity of magnetization, that is capital I, to magnetizing field, capital H, is known as hysteresis. In the figure, one loop is shown. The lack of retraceability as shown in the figure is called hysteresis and the curve is called hysteresis loop. The lack of retraceability as shown in figure is called hysteresis and the curve is known as hysteresis curve or loop. Suppose we study here some properties. First say retentivity. When H is reduced, I reduces but is not equal to 0. We increase H, I increased, we are from O to B. Now H is reduced, I in decreases, but not equal to 0. When H is 0, I does not reduce to 0. The value OC of magnetization when H is equal to 0 is called residual magnetism or retentivity. When H is reduced, I reduces, but is not 0 when H is equal to 0. The remainder value OC of magnetization when H is equal to 0 is called the residual magnetism or retentivity. That means OC is the retentivity here. The property by virtue of which magnetization or magnetism I remains in the material even after removal of magnetizing field is called retentivity or residual magnetism. Second, corrosivity or corrosive force. When magnetic field H is reversed, the magnetization decreases and for a particular value of H denoted by HC, it becomes zero. HC, that is OD, here we have HC. O to D, when I is equal to zero, this value of H is called corrosivity. Magnetic hard substance such as steel has high corrosivity. Magnetic soft substance such as soft iron has low corrosivity. When magnetic field capital H is reversed, the magnetization decreases and for a particular value of H denoted by HC, it becomes zero. That is HC is equal to OD in the figure. This is OD. This is HC. When I is equal to zero. This value of H is called the corrosivity. Magnetic hard substance such as steel has high corrosivity. Magnetic soft substance such as soft iron, it has low corrosivity. When field H is further increased in reverse direction, the intensity of magnetization attains a saturation value in reverse direction. That is point capital E. When H is decreased to zero, the changed direction, I will change its direction directly. And change the direction in the steps, we get the value EFGB. Thus, complete cycle of magnetization and demagnetization represents B, C, D, E, F, G, B. This curve is known as hysteresis curve. The complete cycle of magnetization and the demagnetization is represented by B, C, D, E, F, G, B. This curve is known as stereosis curve.